welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do my most embarrassing stories and we are on story number two. So, here we go. <laughs> the second story happened, oh let's see. Okay, I had just gotten divorced and moved in here and so I was living by myself with my two kids. And now this was before I met Cliff, my husband. Um, I don't know if any of y'all do this, but I do it. I still do it. But the second I get home from anywhere, these clothes come off, this bra comes off, and I put my pajamas on. I don't care if it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I'm going to put my pajamas on. So, even back then, I did it. Well, one day, um, I was at work, and I had been having trouble with my washer. And, you know, I was a single mom with two kids. And, now y'all keep in mind, back then, when all this stuff happened, I didn't look like this. I did not look like this. I was a whopping, what, 130 pounds? I just didn't look like this. So, <laughs> um, anyway, back to the story. I was having trouble with my washer. And single mama with two kids, I needed help getting my washer fixed. So, of course, I, I called my daddy. I called my daddy for everything. Right, pro you, you know, your daddy's going to be there for you. He's going to take care of you. So, he was still alive at this time and I called my daddy and I said dad I said something's wrong with my washer can you please come look at it well my dad was not a <laughs> he was not a handyman fix it kind of guy he was a pick up the phone and call somebody else to do it kind of guy so he said I'll take care of it well he took care of it all right so, um, you'll, you'll understand what I mean in just a minute. So, I finish out my work day. I go home. The second I hit the door, clothes start flying off. I got a trail of clothes from my front door, you know, on back to the bedroom. But this particular day, I took off my clothes and I was in my bra and underwear, y'all. I go to, and I, w I was by myself, I don't know where the kids were, I'm assuming they were still at school maybe, I, I don't know, but I'm in my bra and underwear, I go to the kitchen, I'm pouring me some tea, and I turn around, and there is this man peeking around the laundry room door like this. It startled me, but out of embarrassment, I didn't scream or I didn't run or, or anything like that. I stayed as calm as I could, and I looked dead at him, and then went on about my business like it was nothing. Trying to stay calm, and I, trust me, I knew I was standing there in my underwear. Anyway, I looked dead at him. I turned back around and finished what I was doing, and this man has ducked back around the corner of the laundry room, and he is now yelling to me, I'm here to fix your washer, ma'am. He's stuttering. He's just absolutely falling over everything he's saying. I had to send my partner out to get a part. That's why I didn't see a car in the driveway, and that's why I didn't know anybody was here because he had sent his partner out to get something. Well, my dad evidently had laid him in the house thinking he'd be gone by the time I got home, maybe. Thanks, Dad. Um, so anyway, you know, and, and at this point, I am absolutely so embarrassed that I just... I don't know what to do with myself and it's 
I guess in reaction to that, the only thing I could do was act like it was nothing and it was totally normal. So he's trying to explain, you know, why he's in my house and blah, blah, blah. So I, I just said, okay, and I stood there and everything in me wanted to run to my bedroom and slam the door. But I think I was in such shock that all I need to do was play it off. So what do I do? I prance right up to the laundry room door, put my hand on my hip, and I look right at him and I say, y'all about to wrap this up. And this man turned white as a sheet. I, 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 he's he's going to be back with a part in just a minute. But man, I promise we'll be, y y y get out of your hair in just a minute. Okay. As slowly as I walked up to that man, I turned around. I walked just as calm as I could be back to my bedroom and shut the door. When that door shut, I went nuts. Oh my God! Oh my God! I can't believe I just did this! Oh my God! And I was like laying on my bed, buried my head in the pillow, and I'm like, I am going to kill someone. I was so embarrassed. I did not leave my room. I, I, you would have thought I'd have put some clothes on and went back out. No. Uh-uh. He was never going to see my face again. He's done seen too much. So, I get quiet in my room. And I don't know if he can hear me or not. I'm pretty sure he, he did. But I can hear this man on the phone with his partner. And I can hear him saying, Man, you ain't going to believe this. You got to get back here quick. You ain't going to believe what I just seen. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm not coming back out. I hope that my daddy already paid him because I ain't coming out. And I bet you I was in that room for about an hour. They finished up. He yells to me, ma'am, we're done. We're going to go ahead and leave. Okay, thank you. What can you say? I really embarrassed myself. And then, not to mention... On their way out the door, they had to walk past my clothes I took off and threw on the floor. So, now they're seeing all that. Anyway, that was story number two. Story number three, um, I'm going to let my husband Thanks tell. for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.